Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and everyone in between, I'm Dean Haglin, and welcome to Scared and Alone, the internet's only live paranormal investigation where you are part of the action. We are tonight going to upstate New York, to Nichols, New York, on the Pennsylvania border, to an inn considered the most frightened, the haunted, frightening inn in all of North America. It is the Fainting Goat Island Inn in Hooper's Valley, New York. And it is guaranteed to be terrifying. So turn on your recording equipment, put your eyes and ears close to the screen because we'll need your help tonight. And uh, as always, I am joined with our team of paranormal investigators, starting with over on the East Coast. It is the Gentleman Psychic and our very own spectral, Bob Ross, Richard <coughs> Lell Lillard, ladies and gentlemen. Richard Lell, how are you? I am well, Dean. How are you? I am excellent. I'm going to say, normally you start with a blank canvas, but look at this. You are already... Yeah, I, well, you know what? It, this is very special, this place. Um, mm -hmm. I, I've never heard of it before, but right. it was when I learned that we were coming here. I was in anticipation for tonight. And this morning, as I was dreaming, I dreamt of the place. And so I oh. had to sit down and kind of start with a background. Uh -huh. um, I actually dreamt of perhaps some of the specters that we'll be seeing tonight. Um, one most notably, there's a little boy that keeps that kept in the dream and he keeps still peeking out from under like he's I he may have drowned. I don't know, but Ooh. he. He just keeps peeking out. So okay. I think that's where we're going to go. Fantastic. And it's uh, curious because this is uh, an inn right on the river uh, that runs through uh, upstate New York. And uh, the islands, of course, the Fainty Goat Island is uh, directly across from the inn. So we look forward to seeing what you create. I look and forward to creating. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Richard Lell. Coming to us. From a long time uh, absence from uh, Key West, Florida, I believe you're coming to us from uh, the haunted uh, fire station where I often make fun of my favorite entity, Captain Bumfarto. It is David L. Sloan, ladies and gentlemen. David L. Sloan, how are you? I'm a little freaked out. <laughs> Already? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just with what Courtney's in for tonight, I don't think she knows some of the stuff. I've I've been reading some of these things and, and I, I know she knows some of the things, but I don't think they've told her everything that's in store for her. And I am a little bit concerned. Yeah, um, I know. I, we, I, we both, I, know. We, I, I received a, a lot of your research. It is uh, comprehensive to say the least. And uh, it uh, dates back to 1802. We have some of the original deeds of the property. We have uh, uh, canceled checks. I mean, this place has a lineage, a historical lineage, unlike I don't think any other place we've ever investigated. Is that right? Yeah. And, and you know, um, uh, Christine, the producer, came up with so much of this stuff, um, as, as well as the owner of the property. It, it, it's amazing how far everything goes back. You have a lot of the Native American stuff. You've got it on the water. And then it just continues on. And with the different families that are there, there's so many people that have been through this house. And it seems like there's a, a lot of highly charged events that yeah. take place there. So I, I think we're in for a show. Excellent. Look forward to it. And coming to us from Anderson, Indiana, uh, our paranormal princess, uh, the haunted dog collector herself, it's Miss Haley Michelle, ladies and gentlemen. Haley, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. This seems uh, Harmony is joining us once again. Right. Look at you, like, knowing their names now. Like, that's I know. So I believe they're all very close to me after all of these episodes. That's so true, but I did bring a surprise. Oh, what's that? <laughs> Ready, David? Uh-oh. I'm worried. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> no, you've got Robert. I feel like since it's been so long since you've been on here, I needed to bring him to say hi. That's great because, you know, wow. I, I had a large Robert, um, like a, a mock of Robert, and uh, our dog uh, obviously doesn't like um, dark spirits, so he destroyed it. Oh, oh no. And so I'm glad to see that you're representing with Robert. Of this course. This is Robert the doll, for those who don't know. Uh, 
but dressed in is that a sailor outfit or a medical outfit? Uh, it's David. A sailor outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Sailor. I'm sorry. When, when I he was I the original doll was a clown, but, uh, but oh. now he wears a sailor suit. Oh, fantastic! Well, looks very frightening. Is there? A... <laughs> fantastic! And already your internet oh. a little choppy, Haley. I can't believe it. As soon as she brought out the doll, you notice it I happened. Know, right? Yeah, the... yeah, yeah. You are you are uh, diminished in your bandwidth for some reason. Uh, which is unusual, but we'll uh, work on that because uh, we now go to uh, the Fainting Goat Island Inn and the bravest uh, person in all of paranormal investigation spending the night by herself in, in the haunted <laughs> in herself. It is her very own ghost bait. Courtney Buckley, ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Hi. Hi, Hi. I miss you guys. Miss you guys. Uh, Listen, we went from last week, you know, people seeing a goat, Richard Lale painting a goat at the Proctor House, to now I got to spend some time today playing with goats. It was very exciting. Um, they like to live deliciously, as we did last week. Um, <laughs> actual fainting goats. So, so you were actually playing with actual fainting goats that are on the property there at the inn. Yes, they did not faint, but I fed them Fruit Loops, and it was very exciting. <laughs> to those who don't know, the fainting goat is actually a breed from Tennessee from the 1880s that have a genetic uh, disorder that makes their muscles contract and constrict when they're startled and they fall over. They stay conscious, so technically not fainting goats, uh, but you don't want to call them muscle constricting goats because that's ridiculous. <laughs> so, so we call them fainting goats, and they are why the uh, inn is named after them. Mm -hmm. And before we get into all the good stuff here, just real quick, um, yeah. last week we were at the Proctor House, and mm -hmm. that was such a great episode, and everybody joined me afterwards on my Instagram and listened to me snore for 70 full minutes, which was not embarrassing at all, um, but um, yeah, that was fun. Uh, the Proctor House no, is... I, I, we should explain to our audience who just joined us. After the show, you sometimes stream on Instagram your yep. night that you're going to spend at the end. And, and I'll, I'll be doing that tonight. And so I did right. it also at the Proctor House. And I was up. We were up until at least 3 o'clock in the morning getting some really cool stuff, really good hits on the EMF reader. So I'm, I'm hopeful, again, that that's kind of the same thing that will happen tonight. But then I set up my phone to record the room with an EMF reader in front of it, like the K2 in front of it. Yep. And I went to sleep. And within maybe 60 seconds, I was snoring like a buzzsaw. And that went on until Instagram kicked me off 70 minutes later. But what was really, truly exciting was that anytime the snoring got too loud, like really rambunctious, the EMF reader would go off like oh. the like the ghosts were mad about it. So, so you were disturbing the ghosts with your own snoring. Yes. Yep. Wow. Um, but I just wanted to throw out there for anyone that enjoyed the episode or anyone that might want to come see the Proctor House uh, eventually someday. Um, they are, they put up a, they started a GoFundMe to help with their re restorations, oh, which is on their, um, all their social media at the John Proctor House. Oh, but fantastic. today we have here everything that I'm afraid of guys, like in this room, there right. are several mirrors, which, you know, mm -hmm. I don't like, right. There's a clown I'm looking at over here and right. four or five dolls. They keep popping out of the woodwork. Yeah. <laughs> And I know oh. uh, from talking to the owners previously uh, for my other show called This Old Haunted House, those dolls move. They are known to move on their own volition. So we should tell you that in advance before you see them. Yeah, I wish that you told hadn't that. told me that in advance yeah. because <laughs> they, they let me pick what room I wanted to sleep in tonight. And I picked my room without looking too closely at it. And there's a doll sitting across from the bed staring at me. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, Sweet. Yeah, so, so this uh, may be more terrifying than you uh, had thought. Don't, uh, yeah. don't tell her about the knife yet. I've, what about the knife? <laughs> there's, we're not telling you about the knife yet. This Nothing. is David L. Sloan <laughs> pointing out. We're not telling you about the knife. I David! Don't want it. No, let's not uh, start. Why don't we start in the parlor? Is that where you are now? That is where I'm, I'm at. Do you want a little uh, little look around? 
Yeah, uh, let's, uh, I don't know if we have the original owners, Bill and Marnie, if they are in another property uh, joining us <laughs> to give us a little historical background. Uh, I don't think they are connected yet, but they will be joining us uh, in a moment once they get online. So yes, give us a little tour of where you are, this parlor uh, in the main floor of the Fainting Goat Island Inn. So here's where I was sitting on this gorgeous little, that's my, my ghost okay. backpack right there, yeah. Huh? And then right next to me, Haley oh. is a friend. <laughs> Is that the one you took a picture of earlier? No, that the one I took a picture of earlier is in my room. That's just one of many somebody there. Somebody already sees a man in there. They say there's a man already in that room. He's loud and he's cursing. What? That just like gave me goosebumps, bad. Where's your EFM reader? Uh, do you have that on you, Courtney? Or did you put that down? Okay. Ask okay. if it's Gilbert. Gilbert, are you here? Ask uh, if it's Purcell or Perseal. I don't know. If, I, I'm, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing their name right. Is Purcell here? Perseal? Do we? And, and these are previous owners, uh, David? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's been some different owners, but the, the I believe it's, per, it's like P E A R S A L L. So Purcell, um, they were involved for a long time, and I think they were the original developers. Then you had the Finch family that was pretty prominent there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, somebody's getting the name Manuel. Ask if there's a, a, a Manuel there. Is Manuel here? Oh. Uh, no. He, no I'm going to something. ask you to move closer to that uh, turntable, that historic um, uh, 19, uh, I'm going to say 10. Uh, yes. This has been known to uh, start up on its own. And. Well, uh, yeah. It has scared other guests uh, throughout the time. Um, these are all functional. I believe there's 12 functional gramophones in this uh, inn, and uh, some of them start up on their own without cranking. So uh, if there's any energy that we could get, it might be close to one of these devices. I'm starting to feel like very shaky. No, really? <laughs> not, oh, like, I... not like scared shaky, like weak. Like I feel weak. Okay, remember, um, I, I, I did go ahead and text uh, the, the dream that I had this morning to you. Mm -hmm. uh, it was, in the dream, the spirit started to be activated by, strangely enough, there was a white cardigan, which for some reason belonged to me. Um, and when you came into the dream, there was something, do you have access to water? Do you have yes. a glass? Of, okay, do me a favor right now, take a glass of water, Ha take a drink. It's really important that you do that for your own safety, as well as also it'll be kind of it'll be an energy conductor for for whatever is there. So make certain that you're fully hydrated. I'm drinking too. I don't. I'm already freaked out by what you're, you're saying. You're freaking me so. out. So no, the dream, the dream was very. I'll, I'll tell you what the dream was. I'll, for those of you who who are not privy, um, this morning I I dreamt that I was there at the inn and. Uh, the first thing that I saw was there was this little boy, yeah, maybe age 10, 12, and I got the sensation he had drowned, uh, but he, he was low. He kept, he, he was always low. And then there was a, there was a fellow who was a little bit more rough. He had, um, he had a, a mustache that went into mutton chops. Oh. And then we went, there was under the, it, underneath there was somehow there were pipes that were leaking water somehow um, and it looked like it had been cut, like there was there was a, a solid. It looked like it was a fountain almost, but it was it was cut off. And then um, Courtney came in, and her son was there, and the son hugged her, and we went off looking together. And then there was a woman who was in the kitchen, and this woman, she didn't like things, and she would pick them up and she would move them. And there was one thing in particular; it was like a calendar or a picture or something that was on the kitchen wall. It was specifically; it felt like the kitchen. And as we went through this house, um, it, I was reminded that it, the clothing activates it; the, it <coughs> also deactivates it. So drink the water. Make certain you've got you've got your nice hoodie on. Um, I, you're going to be okay. Just make certain that you keep that water going. It'll activate it. It'll also keep you protected. Okay. okay. 
So we're all going to stay well hydrated on the show. Uh, so, in fact, I might Richard take a break Little, in the bathroom. Every time you keep, you said this before, I think when we were on, before we went live, and you just said it again. Every time you say, you talk about the little boy and you say he stayed low, my eye keeps being drawn to the same location. The second you say it, it's like a, an elastic band. I, I, my eye snaps over to right here. Oh, below. That's where I kept looking in that area. I'm, I'm, I, it looked like there was the shadow there, actually. Mm -hmm. it, looked yeah. like he, it looked like he was there on, the, on those saloon doors. Yeah. Uh, I've seen these saloon doors in the daylight on another show. This seems to be shadowed differently. Uh, I don't know if it's my monitor. Do you, this is the next room over. Uh, Courtney, yeah. do you just yeah. want to walk in there a little closer just so we get a little uh, better? Yeah, uh, let me get my light. With me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bedded resolution on the uh, swinging doors, which came from an actual uh, historic Western saloon uh, in Colorado, if I remember correctly. Uh, okay. Yep. Ask them what to push, that? ask them to push the doors. Ask Did them anyone see the flash? Did you hear I that heard, noise? I heard the noise and I see, well, I you guess that's the window. Okay, if there's anyone here with us, can you push the door open? That one on the left looked like it moved really slightly. I'm he hearing trappy, uh, tapping on my speakers. Me too. This noise, hold on. Oh, no, I think I that's that, me. Is I that know. you doing that? It's my, my lamp and my K2. Um. Uh, I'm not sure. Of people are seeing a shadow dancing around there. Mm -mm. Don't use that word. Okay. So All technically, right. you're in the the what's called the bar, the saloon area. Now they built a bar. This is a second room that might have been the living room. Just give us yeah, a. So in, inside that door is the bar. Oh, inside. Oh, you're outside. Oh, I get it. Yeah, this is the hallway. Oh, the main hallway. Oh, yeah, yeah. So those are the stairs to the second floor. Mm -hmm. You're looking at the front door. Uh, okay. So, uh, gosh, do we go into the bar? Was I, that I think you're right. The shadow? No, the door was ajar slightly when I came out uh, here. Yeah. But it was, it was already ajar slightly, but, oh, my God. My K2 just went off. It was pushed ever so slightly. Yeah, back, this, is, this one is pushed back in more. Some of the regulars who are very sensitive, they're on tonight, and I mean, they're blowing up the comment section. So Haley Castellano is seeing stuff. Um, City Plume is here. We've got uh, Paula in Arcadia. Uh, we've, we've got Charlie in Vegas. Um, oh, Cheryl's here. There, a lot of people are seeing stuff move. Tabitha Meadows says there's a spirit in the back room behind. Look at this. It. Look at this. Hold on. So there's nothing happening right now. Yeah. Oh, it was just going off when I put it like down. Try turning it a little bit, like turn it, turn it left and right, because they it works in one direction. So try turning it different directions. Um, call call out and ask whoever's there. Tell them to come touch the green light. All right, if there's anyone here with me, come and touch this green light. You can take my energy, and use my energy. If you touch that light, you can Do you make have that this light water. Up. Try sipping some water when you ask them that. Oh, <laughs> I, it's in the other room. Okay. I I know we didn't plan on going in there, but should we uh, just walk in uh, to that room? I know it's not lit at the moment. Uh, yeah, if you want me to. Yeah. Can you it, climb under the doors? I mean, I don't think. I don't think my butt will fit. <laughs> it's a little low. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, they're on swings, uh, swing hinges. So, yeah. Uh, why don't we just step inside? Because there seems to be uh, a lot of the comments hearing so many voices uh, coming from inside what would be <clears throat> the communal room uh, at the time. This is the bar. 
uh, restaurant area. Can I tell you guys something? What's that, Haley? As soon as you walked in there, the moment you walked in there, it felt like, like I was being strangled. It felt like somebody had a hole in my throat. Yes. And I was. Oh my gosh. I was cough like I needed to cough really, really bad. I as swallowed went, so hard. Yeah. To, to prevent from coughing. Yeah, I felt. And that's crazy. Tabitha picked up on a tall man in there, and <laughs> Haley Colano was saying, Hidden Secrets, this man said we should know what happened. And it's interesting because Haley's picking up on like a blacksmith or something that has to do with metal. And I believe this house was a foundry at one point. Right. It has a history of being a train station, a foundry, an ice house, a brothel, and a private residence uh, throughout the years. So uh, we are catching all of that. Uh, Haley, uh, your internet's still choppy. Is there... Uh, did you downgrade your service or something? No, I didn't do anything. Oh my gosh. I think it's the Robert doll that you have. Try try moving the Robert doll out of the room. I bet it improves. Okay. It's ruining your internet. Internet. Those little dolls on their on their world detour and it and it ruined everything for them. Just try moving them out. Okay. So Courtney, can you describe what you see around you, even though it's pitch black for us? Well, I sure can, because there's something really special in here that is really exciting. Oh. I see him. Hold on. Okay. What? Ah. <laughs> uh, is that the I believe he's known as Jeeves. He oh, looks guys, like guys. What? The K2 was just going off when everybody was laughing. We don't laugh at Jeeves. <laughs> oh! There it goes again. Oops. <laughs> don't make me laugh, Haley. We're not laughing at you. <laughs> Jeeves is a, oh, my God. That's good. I, I bet that's a child's spirit because the child would feed off of laughter. Oh, wait, David, it almost went to red when you said that, and I just got chills oh, so gosh. bad. I, I think I think it's the little boy. You know, um, they talk about. I, there was a story I heard about like gumballs spilling across the floor in in an em, in an empty hallway. Right. Uh, and a lot of the guests. There's supposed to be a guest book here where they write about their experiences. And and one of the most common ghosts seen is a little boy. And you know, Richard Lale. That's what he was picking up on too. And it right. seems that that little boy is a strong spirit. Now, whether he's there or not, you know, um, uh, Haley Castellano said that he's upstairs underneath a bed. I wonder if that's the room you're staying in. Um, Great. I do not like to hear that. He can. That's okay. He can. He can visit with me. My son is twelve, so that's right. very like it hits home for me. Right. Haley, uh, you're probably, still yeah. choppy. Do you want to try logging off and log back on so that yeah. we can get you in a smooth feed? And then we'll continue as we try uh, to. Uh, well, further. go ahead, Courtney. If it's if we think that he's in here right now because he's reacting to us laughing with the K two, should I I have those cat toys with me? Oh, the little light do. up balls. Should I go get them and bring them in yeah. here? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Don't call them cat toys. <laughs> call them also, fun toys. Also, here. talk to him like he is your your son or. I, I think if you do that, you'll get a lot more of, you know, how, how you would interact. Hey, you want to play? I've got these great toys. I think that would, I think that would garner a lot more. Some, I, I think, I, I think it would open the energy more. All right. Excellent. Let me go get them and I'll be right back. Okay. Haley, you're back with us. Uh, is it still choppy? It is. This is so. Was there a, a storm that ran through India? Oh, oh there. It That's is, it's like. seriously like severe winds right now oh uh, so that very be, yeah. yeah yeah okay well this is much better we seem to okay. uh not get a, a one eighth frame rate so <laughs> thank you so much for doing that. no problem. Uh, david oh richard lell let's have a, a little check-in on your uh, artwork so far uh this seems to be an accurate depiction of the inn that we're in yeah it's it's the house and that's you know it's it's this little house by the side of the road. So that's that's where we're starting. But 
I, I know there's there's some there's some with every place. One of the things that I, I forgot to mention was I keep seeing too. Um, there's a woman, and there's something about drinking, and it feels like that one feels like poison. Like she feels like oh. Um, so she gets a dry mouth a lot. So I think also that might be why there's there's a lot of thirst Integration as well. going on. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Well, let's all stay and hydrated. Maybe the choking. It could, it could very well be. I, I when I when I feel it, I feel nauseated and a little headachy, and yeah. my mouth is really dry, and it so it it makes me. And she's a woman. This would have this this woman. She's nineteenth century. She wears a. There's a there's a hat with a. She's got a. It's like a feather or a bird in it. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it, I I don't know. It might be it might be closer to. It's hard to say. It's it, it it's it's turn of the century, but I don't know exactly when. But I I see her hat, with the feather in it, and she she's she's choking it, it it feels like but it feels like it's poison okay wow. and someone's picking up on uh, uh ladies having tea and i'm told that uh, I mean, in some of the reports that you read uh, uh, like uh, about new york's haunted trail and this is one of the big places on it they say that it's common for people to see ladies having tea i wonder if that's some kind of the poisoning that happened there interesting um, well let's courtney's back courtney uh did you bring water with you and uh, yeah. water right here. And you have uh, toys. We're not calling them cat toys. They are toys that light up. I have toys <laughs> right here, and then the K two. Okay. So and and Courtney, oh. a, a possible name is Victor Finch. He was seven years old when the Finch family moved there. Victor. So you can try calling Victor. Oh, I just got chills so hard. Really? I feel frozen, Victor. If you're Vic here. I want to play. Who said that? Uh, what? It was I, me. It was me. Oh, I'm sorry I because your 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 thing is lagged, so it didn't look like you said it. That scared the hell out of me. <laughs> I can't. Okay, sorry. It didn't even sound like your Maybe voice, Haley. Victor is gonna bring Victor out. Okay. Okay, let's say that's the true. <laughs> Victor, come out and play. I brought you toys. They're a lot of fun. If you touch them, they light up like this. Now, some people think that the child isn't in this room, that the child's upstairs, and that it's the foul-mouthed man that's around there. Um, and here's something interesting. A lot of people's mother-in-laws died in this house. I think there's at least three mother-in-laws who have died here. So can you try asking, um, if, 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 tell them if it's not a kid uh, to try touching the ball or touch your K2. All right, if whoever is in here is not Victor or a child, can you please touch this green light or touch one of these balls and make them light up? What? I think you just touched my hair right here. Yes. Who, yes. What? That's that's good. That's good. Okay. If that was you touching my hair, can you touch this green light and make make my make the green light light up? Tell them to touch your hair again if they're if they live with their mother-in-law. Can you touch my hair again if you lived with your mother-in-law? You're being warned that, that uh, somebody says uh, that someone got stabbed in this house and this man said we should know who did it. And they say he will jump you. He's very good at what he has learned to do. Okay. So the <laughs> fact that you just said that gives me the creeps because <laughs> no, seriously, no. seriously, I don't even want to move. I don't even want to move right now because and I'm going to show you. I've been sitting here still. This is where I felt there's like a little bit of my hair coming out under my hat. This is the hair that I felt like it was was being played with. And then I was thinking to myself, like, are you hiding? Like, what's happening? And then it felt like someone, like, 
did this like like slowly down my neck like they were like feeling for a spot like almost like they were feeling for like a vein good lord okay uh, why do we get out of this room or, no david <laughs> have one more well yeah you know we talked about that knife early on um I'm, I'm hoping that uh that marty and bill will be here soon and can tell more about it but there's a story that i came across online about a knife in the ceiling in the um, ceiling. Yeah, they talk about a doll and a knife in the ceiling. Um, that was I lodged mean, in the ceiling or was above, like, they, there was drop ceilings that they removed when they renovated. it. Would it be the knife above the drop ceiling? All I saw was knife in the ceiling. I mean, it, 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 it's a story that I, th I think Bill and Marty will be able to shed some light on. But it's so, I mean, to me, that's more than a coincidence that it's coming up when everybody's picking up on like a stabbing in there or something like that. So, sure. so, so I'm, I'm super creeped out. Why don't we get out of uh, the bar and head upstairs uh, to the Alpine room, the one of the largest rooms uh, in the inn. Uh, and then and maybe stop uh, on the way up by the doll that sits at the landing. <laughs> I Four swear. Near. I saw a shadow walk behind you. I swear, to Courtney, I did, what? and it was a big man. Great. I don't. I. I don't well, know what to say. Cor Courtney, we're not spending the night here. No, Yo, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> I know who is though. Me. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, in this room, why well, do we? A big man can walk up the stairs while she's sleeping. Oh, right, God. and also you're <laughs> sending me up to the room that I'm staying in for the night. Oh, okay, so say don't follow me. I don't. I'm, I feel I... like I don't know. I feel that whole story that David just told has me like fully on edge now. The jumping thing. And I would that's rather scary. sit here in the dark than move because I am terrified. But I will go upstairs. And then you mentioned the doll on the landing, as if I haven't already met her yet today. Oh, you did. <laughs> uh, I tell you, you're just lucky that it's not a full moon tonight. Oh, what about wait the pink a minute, moon. David? It's, it's not moon. The, the pink it? moon. Oh yeah, it is a full moon. What do you know? Oh, weird. It's a full moon, but it's cloudy in upstate New York, so That's we're not uh, perhaps getting the full effect of that. But, <coughs> uh, Courtney, shall we follow you up the stairs? Are you? Yeah, I think you're gonna have to if you want to see the dog. Because... So give me a second here. Let me get all my things together. That because does look so... like her name is Gwen or something. That doll is the one that's in the, the doll that just flashed on the screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you? Yeah. What was that? Did you see that? I saw a shadow. Yeah. Here. I don't. In the parlor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, or a, a light flicker. Something happened on my monitor that looked like something in the lit area. Alter. I don't know if it was shadow or if the lights just had a fluctuation in electricity. I don't know. I was thinking that earlier in here. It looked like someone was taking pictures in here, like a flash. Uh, I uh, suppose this is the time we should tell everyone that we're not responsible for any electronics that go south. Uh, we've all have experienced something. David, your monitor went crazy. Haley, who's not even with us, where did Haley go? <laughs> Don't tell me she got kicked off. Oh my gosh. My, uh, I have to buy a second graphics card. All my hard drives kicked out. My v robot vacuum is possessed. Richard Lell, I think you're the only one. No, it actually has started. What happened? Well, well, there's weird light situations. And now my, um, like I walk in and, and my battery lights that I have on my candles, one will be on. Um, and now the weird thing is that one of my charging ports on my laptop won't work anymore. Oh, right. so everybody watching, we uh, are not responsible for your electronics going south. We should point that out, that you are all participating in this live investigation on your own accord. And uh, do not blame us for any electronics uh, that drain your batteries or otherwise energetically alter any of your electronics. Now we are back with Courtney. Courtney, explain to us where you are. So I'm at the, on the landing in the stairwell. 
There's, of course, a mirror behind me. Of course. And then there's this doll. Oh, and I'm going to tell you something right now, okay? <coughs> Look at the doll's eyes. Okay? Okay. When I came downstairs to get, I went to, to come on the live stream, I came downstairs, I swear, I stopped and I looked because it looked like the doll's eyes were looking at me, which is over here. So the eyes have already moved since you've I been think there. so. Oh my god. Because they're looking can, straight at me where I'm sitting right now. Can when you guys hear me? Stairs, yes. Yeah, Haley, yeah. thank goodness can, you're back. Can you what see me? Yeah. What happened? I can okay, so this is what's going on that just, just happened for a long time. The doll's picture was stuck on the screen and was not going away. <gasps> I couldn't see you guys this whole past five, ten minutes because that doll's picture was there. I can only hear you talking. That still photo? It was that photo. It's been there for the last five, ten minutes. I haven't been able to see you guys. Oh I kept getting God. off, trying to get back on, and it was still there. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we just went through a litany of everybody having electronic issues because of this show. My turn. And you're, you're, yes. You're, you're, <laughs> and we apologize. We not apologize. You're on, an, on your own accord. So, so. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> hey, folks. Courtney, so, can you hug the doll? No. I don't just, know. Just, just I feel hug, like hug the doll. I feel like it gave me a warning, Courtney. A warning. How did I touch the doll? Because it stuck on my screen and was just staring at me for like five or ten minutes. Try, try giving <laughs> a try giving This a is little. not this Haley, this is not the same doll. The doll oh, that was okay. on your screen. The doll that was stuck on your screen is the doll that's in the room that I'm staying in tonight. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. This is the doll in the hallway. And this is the one that moves. Uh the owner himself has seen this doll. Uh, move as he was renovating this place. So this doll uh, has um, some energy, but uh, uh, don't give the doll power <laughs> is what uh, Haley Castanella says. So perhaps uh, we should just move on and not uh, what? You're getting it's it. It's like a heartbeat. You're getting oh it. Ooh. You're getting it. Okay. Give it a hug. <laughs> David. Give it a hug. Are you going to? The last time I was in New York, you missed it. I held a doll and then I <laughs> had not a good yeah, time and after then it, that. Haley's all communications went heck. So, uh, I... what? Haley, you... Haley, your recommendation. What should we do with this doll? <laughs> I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know what's happening. Oh, You're laughing. That thing is going off the chart. Look at this. Look at this. I'm so, this, I don't this, know. Uh, the laughter is sparking it again. It's, it, you're blown And up. I don't even know what's funny. I just started laughing. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> we asked for your recommendation and you're laughing. And I don't know why. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Is it Victor? Victor? <laughs> I remember when I I'm said so that. I'm so scared right now. I'm so <laughs> scared right now. I, I, I get, <laughs> I'm laughing and freaked out at the same time. Uh, I can't even laugh because I'm going to cry. Oh, oh gosh. Uh, I like that. <laughs> this is the doll you want me to hug? It wants it wants me to cry. I want you to hug that doll. Oh, gosh. Richard it's official Leo. now. Richard Leo. Right. Now, you know what? If Dean and I, I say it now. I love you. You're going to be do fine. Do you? I do love you. You're going to be fine. You have to drink some water. I don't believe you. But I think you should hug that doll. It needs a good love. Well, no, it doesn't. Maybe. It needs an exorcism. <laughs> Dang, Courtney, I don't know if now's the time to tell you, but um, somebody picked up on a, on a, a woman there saying, um, uh, are you paying? And this was supposed to be a brothel at one point. <gasps> And so, the minute you walked in the joint, who, who am I paying? <laughs> the, for what? Yeah, Who's paying me? So, so it seems, seems one of the ladies is there. And look, I know, I know. <gasps> wow, look behind you! Oh my look god, behind you! I know there's mirrors around you. Yes, one I of do. the regular things that guests talk about here is looking into the mirror and seeing eyes staring back at them that are not their own eyes. 
So whenever you get an opportunity to go near one of these mirrors, I'd like you to do a little scrying and try to summon some of those spirits. And um, ask her, ask her how much. <laughs> Just yeah. to see, it's for it's for pur experimental purposes. It's for science. Ask, it's for science. Ask, yeah. Ask if twenty dollars is enough to, help the, to touch. The oh my god. Twenty dollars to touch. All right, fifty dollars. <laughs> That was okay. insulting. No. In the 19th century, just said, hug the doll. The doll needs love. Isn't that right? Okay. Right. It would have been a brothel okay. in the 1800s. It would have been Hold on. Bit. I'm going to, okay. Guys, I've, I'm getting braver every episode. You are. Is this and allowed? So we have, uh, is, is this allowed for me to hug the doll? Marnie? Hey, it's Bill and Marnie. Oh, hey, Bill and Marnie finally joined us. Hi, guys. <laughs> Welcome. You are I just want to make sure that I have permission. Can we, uh, we're in the middle of this doll on the landing that, Bill, you have seen move. It is uh, sending the meter up. Uh, it's freaking everybody out. And the suggestion is it needs a hug. Uh, Bill, is it, uh, do we have your permission, Marnie? Do we have your permission to hug this doll? Yes. Oh God! You were hoping, hoping they were gonna say no. <laughs> Courtney <laughs> really hoped you would say no. Don't hug the doll. She had her fingers crossed yeah. and everything. <laughs> really did. Oh my God. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys. Hello, Oh. Whoa. I just got stuck to the wall. <laughs> Somehow. So. Oh my God. It's head. Oh. I will eat your heart. <laughs> Haley, I swear. <laughs> Haley, Haley, stop that. <laughs> Haley, <laughs> stop laughing. <laughs> oh Look at that. The laughter is doing it again. Doing it again. Wow. The laughter is saying this went off. I told you that doll moved. Uh, you that doll moved. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> It loves the laughter. It does. I just heard a sound. What'd you hear? Like from the doll. What did it? She's laughing. Like a, it was like a hum, like a. Mm -hmm. I thought that was Haley. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm not even kidding you. No, it was in my ear from from right here next to me. <laughs> Haley, hey, stop hey, laughing! Hey, hey, <laughs> I don't know what's happening to me. As I'm hearing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Something's happening to me. Really is, Haley. You are. <gasps> <laughs> this is terrifying. What is Why is everybody cuckoo bananas? I don't know. Haley's been possessed by some things in her afternoon. Oh, I, I am not finding any of this funny. No. I do comedy. <laughs> Richard Lyle. You're going to go by. Drink some water. Drink some water. Oh, I'm fine. Courtney, is this the room that you're in tonight? Something's touching my arm. Uh, is this the room that you're going to be in tonight? No, I'm in the hallway. I can see my door, though. Oh, God. People <laughs> pick up poltergeist. Something literally just touched my arm. Ask, ask it to touch it again. Can you touch my arm again? <laughs> Something's wrong. I think it's trying to lead you somewhere. It's I, that See makes it's sense. Like, it's like my sweatshirt. I think upstairs. See if it's like tugging you to go somewhere. Yeah, it was. Kind of, kind of follow it. Tell okay, it to I need to, can I put the doll down now? Yeah. Down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My God, oh, no! When this, when it this did it again. Down. Oh no! It doesn't want to go because I said don't it made put it down. down. <laughs> Take it all with you. Like no, I'm Take not taking it all with me. Why? Because it's too scary. <laughs> Richard it's Lowe said, it, "It literally like it sounded like it cried. It went. Huh. It's your buddy." No, it is not. It's going to walk itself into my room later. No, yes, no. later when you're asleep. Make sure no, you film it for us. I will not be like sleeping you. right now. Right now, it's not. Okay. 
It literally made a sound. I'm not. I'm putting it down. Say, do you want to play? No, I not. I do not want to play. No, I thank you. Play. No, no. <laughs> I feel bad for it. I hugged it, Haley. Yeah. But it's it's sad now. No, it's not sad. It's gonna run up your stairs. <laughs> so, so Haley. What happened? <laughs> I'm sorry. This is so unlike you. This I don't know what's happening to me. You are being Look, possessed. Now it's not something. going off anymore. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm I'm oh I'm God. curious. Um, Marnie and Bill, oh, you, there's a lot of comments coming through about people who have stayed there before and what an amazing place it is. But I had read something online about a knife in the ceiling. Can can you shed some light on that story? Um, yeah, there was, uh, so we were in there renovating, actually, my brother was in there and he was tearing out the drop ceiling that, that uh, was, was in the room and he heard this noise kind of like whoosh by his head and a big bang on the floor. And when he looked down, there was a knife and, uh, he, he said, huh, a knife. So he picked it up and it actually <laughs> ended up being a knife from like the 1950s because we looked it up, but the knife is appears to have like blood stains on it and the handle all the finger marks like like they're like carved into the handle like i mean it's like a hitman's knife that's what it looks like that's incredible because uh uh haley castellano in the comment section she she's pretty sensitive to things and she picked up on uh, a man who said that he had stabbed someone there and that they should know what he did um so th this this is wild. Which room was that uh, knife found in the ceiling in? It was it was in the uh, Alpine room. Oh my god! Oh, that's Rudy's room. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Why? <laughs> oh, because and, and there the happens to be there happens to be at. some clothes in that room that uh, that appear to be bloody. That that were also found. Bloody clothes in the Alpine room when you were renovating? Yes. They're, okay. they're, in, the, they're in the floor under a floorboard. Oh. Wait, yeah. Richard Little. We, we put, up, we put them back and, and screwed the board down because we didn't want to disturb whatever may went with it. So Wait, the bloody clothes are still in the floorboard? What? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're still in the floor, under, under the floor. You didn't <laughs> remove them. Okay. No. Well, why don't we head over to the Alpine room, Courtney? And uh, this this K two is going crazy right now. And Richard Lale talked about the clothes earlier, right? That was, was what the, his his dream was that it was connected to the clothes. It was the clothing. It was the clothing that activated it. It was the clothing that that sets it free. That was that was the dream. Wow. Well, okay. My mind is like I've never been this mind blown on one of these episodes <laughs> like I am right now. I know, okay. and we see the near reflection of you, uh, monitor over your shoulder. Yep. That's also creeping me out. Uh, <laughs> well, wait till we get to the Alpine room because there's a lot more mirrors in there. So, if you, if you get to the Alpine room and go to the mirror, I'd yeah. love for you to to look into it and see because people see eyes staring back at them from the different mirrors. Right. I'd, love to, I'd love for you to try to, to bring some of the other spirits out to join you tonight. Time to get up without falling down the stairs. So give me a second here. Okay. This is. And not, uh, or falling on the doll because that's sort of feel like it's going to happen. Okay. Well, Courtney gets there. Let's check in again with Richard Lell and see how his painting's going. Richard yeah. Lell, can you hear us? Yeah. I, 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 I've been laughing so much. I, I have. <laughs> I've only been focusing on the house and not uh, not the specter that I have seen, but um, I guess it was contagious, Miss Haley Michelle. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I so. I know. I don't know if I've ever laughed and been terrified. <laughs> You're so funny. To be the polar opposite emotions that I should not uh, oh. each other. And I blame you, Haley, frankly, but <laughs> Richard, well, talk to us about your painting and... and <laughs> and mute my camera. <laughs> yeah. And your bunny ears are very Easterish, but you know, I I've been <laughs> back to Richard Lell to hear. So, um, I I love this place. There, it, it, there's so much history, and it just, you know, I I've never been there. I had never even heard of it until we were going there. But right. I, from from everything that's happening, I just I love this place, and the photos that are popping up, I love this place. Oh, fantastic! 
Well, now Courtney's in the Alpine room and you're looking more terrified than ever. Courtney, talk to us. Well, so here's the K2. I'm standing in a mirror, like David asked. The K2 is on orange. This oh, yeah. mirror is reflecting another mirror. I don't know if you can see this behind me, which we know how much we love that. Yeah, it's actually and then over very... Your, your image is also degraded. I thought that uh, when we did this old haunted house, we had a better internet connection. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, the, the mirrors facing each other, you know, it's like... The, and the doll in the room. It, it creates it creates kind of a portal for the spirits. Oh. Oh, they, so that might be causing the interference. But when she right, steps right. between the two of them, that it, it'll loosen up a little bit. But according to one of the mirrors... And if you can look into it God. and just just say, uh, I'd like to invite any spirits who are um, looking from the other side to come through and join us. Can I see the K2? Yeah, you yeah. had to go. I'd like to invite any spirits who are, oh my God, I can't even look myself in the eye. <laughs> who are looking through from the other side to join us. Somebody's oh, saying that there might be a succubus in that room or an incubus. Oh. How much? <laughs> How much? We don't know. We don't quantify. And that's, succubus. and that's really interesting that someone's saying that because with the stories that it was at one time a brothel. That's what that, I know. Yeah, that's why I said that. Yeah, but I know. I'm did no one see. else hear the screaming? What? I heard a yeah, screaming. Yeah, well, I heard something. I heard, it. I heard, something. I heard something. Yeah, I heard screaming, and then nobody was saying anything about it. I thought I was just going crazy. No, no. Ooh, I heard something. Okay. Yeah, what was that? We all heard it, right? Yeah, I heard that. It was, a, it was almost like a faint woman scream. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I heard it, too. I wasn't sure. I thought it was you giggling or something again, Haley. I can't I was, I was being so good this time. <laughs> okay. For now. I heard it. You didn't hear it? Yeah. Oh, I heard it. I, was I it my it. soul? It right behind her. It, it also was the two. It could have been one of the two shadow figures that was standing behind you. Oh, just casually throw that one up there. <laughs> no problem. Great. Good for you. Love that. For you. Courtney, can you look under the bed? Oh, God. Is that All where right. the kid's hiding? Potentially, this was the when we started the show, we had talked about a child. Victor. Uh, Chris, Victor, Vincent, or Christopher, under the bed. And uh, we should actually go there just oh, to see. Okay. Because you're spending the night in this room, isn't that yes, right? Yes, I am. So why do you make me look for things under the bed? Well, because you're going to be spending the very reason you're spending the night in the room, you should look under the bed. Isn't but did, did somebody just say I was here? I swear to gosh, I heard someone whisper and say, I was here. And it was a man's voice. Just now, I and I think I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's because I'm laughing or what. I'm like hearing voices like talking to me through this because I swear I heard a man's voice say, I was here. <gasps> yeah, I, I missed that. Somebody said I, I heard it too. I'm hearing it too. I'm hearing whispered through my speakers, but or it's like a cacophony of voices on a really low level, yeah. David, are you getting? And then any? when I talk, I feel like it goes beep a beep. Richard Lell, are you hearing that through your speakers? I am hearing it. Yes. It's like this low chatter, background noise, right? It, it's. I can't make it out. A little whispering, a little chatter, a little a, a little squeak. I can't. I can't quite make it out myself either. Yeah, David, are you hearing that down where you are? Yeah, I'm. I'm hearing that too, and. Uh, you know, this is really interesting. Um, in the comments, uh, Haley Castellano says, why do I see ice, huge blocks of ice? Was this a morgue back way back? And, and you know, maybe it was a morgue. They, they do believe that it was an ice house at one point, uh, which would have made sense because, you know, I, I mean, the railroad went right by here. And it's right on the river. Um, so it was a, a, a good transfer point for a lot of stuff. So the ice house makes sense. But then, you know, in the summer months when people died, a lot of times they'd store them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Of course. 
<laughs> Great. So we had dead bodies. And I didn't even think of that. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. So you said we had dead bodies <laughs> in the basement? Yeah, in the ice state, keeping huh? them cool and not decomposing until they could be arranged. What's uh, the what's the wall like in sense. the basement? What are the walls made of? Are, is it are they stone? Is it a stone basement or like stone lined or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's laid up stone. Yeah. yeah, so that that would make a lot of sense for an ice house and yeah, but huh. uh, also, I, I I was curious. I don't know if you saw uh, this morning. I I had a dream about about the place, and when in the dream state we went into the into the basement, there was something about. There was a, a man that had come in, and there was there was a pipe that that kept leaking, and it was it it looked like it was it was it was completely like cut in half. Um, when you when you moved in, I I don't even know. I mean, I know it's kind of a random thing, but there there was just this there was a drip 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 of this water, and it was pouring. It was in the basement. That was what was in the dream. There um, actually, actually, before I did all the plumbing down in the basement, there was one pipe that consistently leaked, and it was the one that went to the bathroom. Wow! Upstairs, I, the first floor. First floor bathroom. Remember, because the sink, the sink would consistently back up because the plumbing was so messed up, and I had to reconfigure the whole thing. So yeah, there was there was a consistent back this up and one, leak. It was. It, I think it's the same one uh, because, in, like I said in the dream, it was it said that the clothing activated the spirit and also released the spirit, um, and then it was it was it was talking about there was that constant drip of that of that pipe, that just that one. There were other pipes that were around, but that one it just kept dripping, and there were limestone walls, and it it was under. Um, there's a support support wall what feels like to my right and then there's a door that goes in under another part that's sort of where it feels like that it is i don't know i mean it's a dream but that was right but you're in the right vicinity of what the basement is i mean yeah I agree, well, real, we'll, realistically be out, you we'll be checking out the basement fairly soon but let's check back with courtney because your meter is kicking off and what the heck's going on now so I felt the need to turn the lights off. Don't ask me why. Okay. Um, I set up the toys in You're case anybody wanted bed. to come play. Point to, point to where the bed is right now. The bed's over here. Okay. So under the bed is directly uh, on your left there. Okay. And now we're going to ask who's ever under the bed to come play with the toys. Oh, my God. Why do you have to say it like that? Hold on. Okay. If you're Courtney, under the remember, bed. Remember, treat him like he's your kid. If you're under the bed because you're scared, there's nothing to be scared of. Say, come oh out, come out wherever you are. Wow. Oh, oh God. Come on out. Nobody's going to hurt you. That's crazy. We just want to play with you. Come play with the toys. If you play with it, if you hit the ball, it'll light up and we can play catch. What if it's not the kid? What if it's the person whose bloody clothes are buried under the floor? Okay. You made him stop. <laughs> <laughs> you scared the actual child. Victor. The poor kid. Yes, you did. Victor. It's okay. <laughs> No one's going to hurt you. Come on out. I'm here to play with you. I don't know. Ask. Ask he's not if scared. It, oh. oh. Ask if he's scared to come out. Are you scared? I'm still hearing a cacophony of voices. Are we hearing that? I hear it, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, guys, tell me why I'm doing this. I am laying on the floor right now. Okay. Oh, it's okay, you can hold my hand. Yeah. You don't have anything to be scared of.
Do you want to come out and play? Okay. Did you chase him off? He likes quarters, remember? Quarters? I saw yeah. a shadow above your hand. What? I saw a hand shadow above her hand. Not her actual shadow, but I saw something above her. Oh. Victor! Oh. Come on out. <laughs> it's okay. David, did you get mad that you made Victor run away and then you left us? No, I was getting a little freaked <laughs> out. I, 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 oh. I composed myself. Yeah. Okay. Let me okay. show you how these fun toys work. Whoa. Oh, that's real cool. Look at that. I did it. Oh, no, we're getting yeah. hit. We're getting the meter off. Let's go pretty wild. All right. Look at you. See, you can do it. Now you try. What's the green try light? With the ball. Oh, it's fully red. red. Oh, wow. Try, try, try with, it does the, ball the, ball. the ball was moving. The ball was moving. <laughs> yeah, I noticed yeah. that. I moved but it. I, I know, but I thought it stopped and it started wiggling again. I thought so too, but I'm giving it the benefit of the doubt. Victor. It's okay. Try with the ball. You did a great job. Try with the ball. Can you ask them to knock? Knock on the floor? Do you want to make a sound for us? Like this? Your turn. Everybody sees a shadow behind you do. Bill. Yeah, Bill and Marnie, where are you actually situated? You're not in the inn exactly. No, we're, we're 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 actually down here in the kitchen underneath the Alpine room. Oh, somebody's seeing a shadow behind you uh, more looking. than once in the comment section. Uh, well, is there? Not. We're one. Is, is, <laughs> is it us in the the window? behind us is what we're trying to figure out back here uh yes. yeah i think i saw something actually in the amber uh, door the the amber light coming through the doorway i oh, thought that's i saw in front, that that that's that's in front of us that actually would be the uh, parlor room oh that's the parlor oh that's reflecting the parlor room light right oh my god okay well <laughs> keep an eye on that but let's get back <laughs> Courtney up in the Alpine room. Uh, I just asked, is somebody above. out there? there who like said that? <laughs> I know, it doesn't sound like her. I think it was Courtney, though. It doesn't sound like her voice. I wasn't Courtney. talking. What? Marnie, did you say that? Is somebody out there? I'm hearing something. I'm I hearing heard a woman's about. voice sound like Siri talking through this. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Does anybody have Siri on? Don't everybody turn off your computer. No, I mean, it, she just sounded very proper. I heard it too. And I wonder if it's the woman in the kitchen that was in my dream that moved things she didn't like. Oh. Right? <laughs> I really did. Courtney, I swear to God, I thought that was you. It wasn't me. I wasn't talking. I heard that woman's voice clear as day. Yeah. Like, she was so proper. <clears throat> I want to try... What we did before. Which was what? What? what I'm sorry. I, I lost my train of thought in the middle of talking. Um, <laughs> I like spaced out. Um, okay. If anyone's here in this room with me, use my energy and make a sound that we all can hear. I feel I like there's I feel like there's something relevant like I am this is crazy. Why am I laying on the floor like this? Look at me. Yeah, someone would like usually I, have to tell her to do that, but she just like right. offered herself. So I'm worried. laying here like a chalk outline. <laughs> oh gosh. I know. But what like, kept you my thinkers? Uh it sounds like, like sorry. A loop. A loop like uh like one of the turntables turning or something? I'm literally in the weirdest position. And I can't hear anything, but I feel like there's a reason why I'm laying like this. 
like somebody with the bloody clothes directly below those floorboards. <laughs> Where in the floor are the bloody clothes? Bill, can you tell us? They, uh, they're they're actually uh, like if you're where the TV's hanging on the wall. Yeah. The dresser. Yeah. They're under under a board next to the dresser. Awesome. So right where my foot is. <laughs> and you know, Tabitha Meadows is commenting. She says, "I keep hearing woman in red. Was she in red?" Other. Uh, uh, she's asking Richard Lale if, if in the, if in the dream the woman was in red. Oh. Um, think oh, about that. The red could be the blood. It could, I didn't, when I saw the woman, I didn't see her in red. When I saw the woman, there was, there were two. There was one that was wearing the hat that was, that felt like she drank the poison. And then there was the other woman that I didn't see, but she, I just saw her hands and she would, she would take, it was, it was in the kitchen and there was a picture. She didn't like that picture. I don't know what the picture was, but she'd rip it off the wall. It'd be put on and it would be ripped off. That and this was, woman, as soon as we started talking about the woman in red, the meter went crazy. And now, and a woman in red. I mean, you know, the uh, with well, the with it being a, a brothel at one point. You know, the, the red light. And oh, stuff. Of course. Yeah, that, that could be a tie, and I'm not really sure. But Bill and Marty, you seem to have an insight into what we're talking about. Well, you, well, the when so. You, before this really opened up into an inn and became known as haunted, we would hear pacing up in the room she's in, and we would actually literally hear a woman crying. Oh my god! Oh goodness! A woman in so, red. I'm wondering if it's the lady in red. I don't know. I'm just, I wonder just if wondering. a prostitute was stabbed there. Oh. oh my God, why am I laying on the floor like this? That makes sense. Yeah, no. I get up, Courtney. I'm gonna say get up. I don't it, I'm I'm terrified. I want to ask though, like she is was this poisoned. how you died? What? I wanna I wanna ask more questions. Like, is this okay. is this relevant? Is this how you died? Did someone do this to you? Oh my oh, goodness. God. Wow. Do we know? <laughs> Follow that, Courtney. Okay. Ask Are if she's a prostitute. Were, were you a lady of the night? Remember that one ghost said we're supposed to know what he did? Oh. Yeah. And, and if you think about it, you know, I don't know that we've uncovered any documented stabbings or murders there, but if a prostitute was murdered, that's the kind of crime that would slip away and nobody would bother reporting it. It wouldn't be looked at as a big deal. Going back. Is it your clothes on the floor? Yes. Is it your blood on the clothes on the floor? Ask if they died in that room. Did you die in this room? Oh. You also have to remember that area up there was three separate rooms at one time. That's right. This was a subdivided servants' quarters that they uh, removed some key walls. I think the threshold still exists on the floor. And uh, uh, they expanded that uh, to include the bed and the bathroom um, where you're lying now, Courtney. And, and a room about the size of a servant's quarters because they always made them small, just large enough to Absolutely, sleep. Absolutely, yeah, smaller. That, that would have been the ideal size room for a brothel as well. You know what I'm saying? They just make them yeah. working rooms with a purpose. Um, Let's uh, move on. <laughs> <I'm>, <laughs> uh, for those of you just joining us now, this is Scared and Alone, the paranormal live investigation that you <laughs> be a part of. We are at the uh, Fainting Goat Island Inn in upstate New York. And Courtney Buckley is by herself on the second floor of this inn. Uh, we are all going through emotional conniptions and uh, presently uh, not in a laughing fit, luckily. Uh, we shall continue to the next room uh which i do are we going to the angora room 
Or okay. shall we head straight to the basement at this point? It's up to you, Courtney. Is it the? Isn't there a room where a chair is moving to the bedside? Yes. Isn't that Angora or is that the Nubian yeah. room? The Nubian. The Nubian room. Sorry, my mistake. Yeah. Yes, this is the one that uh, multiple times a chair has moved from uh, the wall to face directly uh, pillow side at the bed uh, more than once. So, uh, Courtney, if you can get up off the floor. And I'm getting up. Marty and Bill, do you know when this was supposed to have been a brothel? No. <coughs> We really don't. We really don't have a time frame. We just, you know, kind of. Well, didn't like a town historian say something? No. No. I'm thinking of a time with the railroad. I don't know when the railroad first started coming through, or, or the, the. I guess the, there was the, the, the two sides of the, the river. river. The, the railroad was on the other side of the river originally, and then in the 1880s, they brought it through this side over here also. So okay. it was both sides of the river. And that's when they sold the property, somewhere around that <coughs> some property to the railroad. Ah, so 1880s would make sense. Right? Yes. So that would make, a, uh, particularly for a lot of workmen, uh, a perfect location for a brothel then mm -hmm. around that time. So uh, if it's 1880s, what insight did that give us, uh, David? You know, a lot easier to make somebody disappear in the 1880s. <laughs> <laughs> Not to be dark about it, but holy <laughs> smoke. Didn't have any cell phone records back then. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Courtney, where you are now, it seems I am in the Nubian room. This is the Nubian room. Uh, do you see? Oh, that's the mirror. Mm -hmm. This is the chair? Yes. That is the chair. It's at the foot of the bed right now. Is that correct? Correct. With its back to the window? Yep. And uh, it mm, somehow more than once has uh, traveled about seven to eight feet to where the head of the bed is by the pillow with the chair facing the bed. Wow. So uh, that's horrifying. I know you're not staying in that room, but perhaps. Um, I don't know. Should we sit on the bed as opposed to sit on the chair? Uh, Haley, what's your suggestion? I say do it, do it. I am I think there's um, a spirit around there who's ready to make communication. Okay. I'm going to put... I K2. feel it. Oh, wow. The what? K2 just went off. Oh, that's right. I remember that. I put the K2 on the bed. I mean, on the chair. Okay. You put it on the on the chair directly. Yeah. Can you see it? Yeah. Okay. Heidi Priscilla says uh, they stayed in the Angora room two years ago and her jewelry was hidden on her. <laughs> and uh, she found it until she was packing up. Oh uh, my gosh. So it, so so think about that. It's a spirit who likes jewelry. So it's probably a I, female presence in there. What's the chair? What kind of chair is it that ends up facing the bed? Seems to be a wicker chair, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. So part of the set, the stagecoach in set. Oh, really? Oh, is this? Oh, this was part of the stagecoach. Yeah. Uh, collection that you got. Yep. Fantastic. Is okay. anyone else burning hot? Yes, I'm really hot. I'm so me. stinky. <laughs> yeah, Tabitha, it's very warm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Matters that anyone else burning hot? Um, as uh, soon as I sat down on the bed, the K two went off. Did it? Yeah. Um. And uh, Haley Castellano says there's a poltergeist in the room. So watch for moving objects. This would be oh a good God. opportunity to try to have them move something. <laughs> if the bear is moving on its own, then, then it's got the ability to move stuff. It, it would be interesting to see what else it can move. Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. What else can it move? That's the key word that David just said that okay. opened that up. What did I just do with my stuff? Oh. I did tell you guys that they're wanting someone's wanting to interact. Okay. I'm gonna put the toys on the chair. Okay. Hold on. They might want to prove they're in this room. Duck. 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 Just <laughs> 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 Meadow says, and Tabitha's on with a lot of things. She says duck. 
I just heard a sound. That may have been my canvas, sorry. It was like a bang. I didn't hear it. I see traffic outside the window, of course. Yeah. Here we go. Oh. There you go. You can move those. What on earth is that? Those are toys that uh, start blinking the moment they oh. have this movement. Hold on. Sorry, guys. This bed is high. All right. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Were there any known fires in the house? Bill? Known fires? Yeah. yeah there the the rooms caught fire or anything? Yeah, in the there kitchen. Was, there, was, there was at least one that went all the way up into the attic. Um, there's remnants of the fire still there. Um, and you can see where they patched, patched the roof <laughs> and sifted in uh, <clears throat> afters and all that stuff to, to fix the roof. So we're assuming it started down here and went right up through the room that she was just in and into the attic. Good Lord. What did not happen in the Alpine room? Anything? Um, I don't what know. Did you know? <laughs> I'm just Everything that could happen. Good night's sleep room. is what I'm suggesting. My favorite is they were so innocent to me when I walked to the door and they were like, you can pick whatever room you want. And I said, you know, what do you think? And they were like, no, we don't have any opinions. And just pick what you want. And so I picked that one. Nobody said anything to me. And now. <laughs> is it too late to change rooms? I'm not changing. Are you kidding me? I was just laying on the floor. Yeah. Every one of them. <laughs> okay. Ask right. some questions. If there's any spirit in this room with us or anybody in this room with us, on that chair that you like to move are some things for you to play with. You can touch the green light and let it light up. You can touch the toys and make those light up. Okay. My light keeps dimming. The battery power is being drained from your light? I think it is. I, I can't tell if it's my flashlight or if it's my... Lantern. Something just shot down too. I saw some shoot down and um, uh, somebody heard a growl. Oh, good. Well, I keep picturing that woman who likes to move things around, like in the kitchen or something. That's why I keep picturing. Okay. See, they're hearing of the man that I heard. What did you hear, Marnie? <laughs> what are those red lights in the back? It's those cars. Are vehicles, yeah. <laughs> This okay. is uh, near a, a busy road, and okay. that's a, a major window looking towards the street. Okay. So, yeah, let's not be, yes, <laughs> let's not be fooled by traffic. I thought we might have some UFOs cruising around. <laughs> we <laughs> freak it out. Oh, my God. So far from life. <laughs> no, we don't need that. Okay, I was, just about to, I was just about to scold David because don't say UFOs to me because that's scarier than ghosts. And then as I was about to <laughs> open my mouth, to scold David, the K two started going off. Oh my god! And we were we were all laughing too. I did a little right. laughing again. <laughs> I mean, at least we all are happy in here. <laughs> that was the latest laugh, really. That. But look at how it made us laugh right know, after. That's See, cute. that's pretty funny. Now be careful because um, uh, Haley Castellano is saying this man will touch you. Oh well, that's a is this the same man that was touching me downstairs? Yep, there's a nasty man. Oh. In I heard that pop. It went off. The K2 went off. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Is it? Are you the same man that was touching my hair downstairs and my throat? Popping up. Yep. Look. The K2 went off again. I didn't see it. It was just the second light. They're saying this man hates women. Oh, good. Well... Guess Great. what? It's got to be the guy who. <laughs> well, we hate you too, said Courtney, and not Haley. Haley. <laughs> nice one, Haley. Yeah. Haley. 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 That was real Haley. 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 Yeah. Fantastic job. Oh my god. All right. If there's anyone in this room with me. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm cracking myself Hello. up over here. What? You, you guys. See I it? don't. 
I don't yeah. like that guy either. I'm serious. Okay. Whoever you are in this room with me, I see you. He wants to pick Welcome. a fight with me. Can you do something? Make something move. Make a sound. Say so you don't like him. No. Come on. He seems really mean. Do you have to sleep here tonight or do I? <laughs> Wait, who are you asking, Haley or the, uh, the guy? <laughs> Both. Haley, because they know. Oh, wow. Are you a man? I'm not even talking to you. Okay. David, ask him. David? Are you the one who stabbed somebody? You think you're tough, huh? <laughs> What if, what if I told you we know where your knife is? Oh. I'm going to take I, it. What if I told you we have your knife and we know who you are? What if we told your family what you did? He's not responding. I don't know. Not if that's responding. He won't confess. Stare down. That's what it feels like. I can't tear my eyes away from it. I know. <laughs> I mean, I'm just staring at something. <laughs> But I will tell you, when I first got in this room, I was sweating. Like David said, I was like so hot. And it's much yeah. cooler now. Not like cold, cold, but cool. Somebody just picked up on him saying, F you. <laughs> He's me. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh, my gosh. How are they hearing all that? Well, he told you, F you. No. <laughs> Wait. Marty, what happened? Huh? Well, why don't you tell him? <laughs> yeah, it does. Well, I was. I was just saying I didn't hear, I'm not hearing the man and Bill's arguing with me because I've heard a man up there tell me to get out. And it was, a very, it. It was a very low raspy voice. This, but it was in the middle room, the green room beside you. It wasn't in the new I just heard a noise. What kind of noise? Like a clunk. Oh. I don't know I, where it was coming from. Something just came through my speakers too. It was like right when Marnie said, get out. Okay. Bill, have you had confrontations with this man too? Have you, have you ever felt like uh, when you're around, like he's. Uh, Confrontational. He's Aggressive. <laughs> it's not Larry. I, I I haven't personally had any confrontations with a man upstairs. Now the attic is a whole different story. <laughs> well, we're not going different. in the attic because it's very I, difficult. I know, to get but nothing on the nothing on that floor. Just I've had just crazy experiences upstairs in okay. the attic. And anything in the basement? Well, not, you know. we said there was absolutely nothing in the basement. Up to oh. maybe two months ago, we had said to guests who wanted to go down in the basement that there's nothing there. And that night, um, there was the <laughs> very loud boom, <laughs> like three oh, yeah. loud we're, 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 booms right from on the, the basement. Floor. Like, bam, bam, bam. Yeah, we're down oh. here. <laughs> okay. So we don't generally hear things from the basement. We hear it. Um, from the attic, guests hear it a lot from the attic and above us when we're down here. Right. So, what, well, where's, the, where's the spring on the property? Uh, in some of the information, it says that the house, they, they purchased the house and the spring. Is the spring really close or? The spring's on the island. Okay. Oh. Yeah. A so, natural artesian well kind of thing, a water spring? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you if you actually were going around the backside of the island, you can feel the, the spring goes out into the Susquehanna, into the river, and oh. it's like ice. So oh. it's it's really kind of cool. That's something. Is well, there flooding that happens there? I, I think there was historic flooding, right? Yeah. Water there, is so important there. In, a, in 11. That was, I moved in here in 7. And in 11, there was a 500-year flood. <laughs> My luck, um, but it didn't get in my on the first floor here at all. This house is high. If you were here, Courtney's here. Um, 
it's a tie and they built it in a good spot because a lot of the neighboring houses had water in their first floor. Wow. wow. Okay. Well, and Courtney, this is, this okay. is USA, USA Today named this the second most haunted hotel in the United States. Is that right? Yes. <laughs> I don't even, pardon me? I can understand why. Yeah. <laughs> Very terrifying. Courtney, why don't we uh, head down to the basement then and see some of the... Um, uh, oh, fun. no. <laughs> Courtney, what's wrong? I don't want to go to the basement. <laughs> because you know what I heard? I heard a, th a thunk come from near the hallway. Do you know what I think it was? What? Or what I'm afraid it was? The doll. The doll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, the doll moved. Well, let's see if the doll's in a different position. Oh, oh God! No. I swear that doll moved. <laughs> I swear, I swear to you. When I came downstairs, I walked down the stairs and I looked at its eyes and I was like, "Why are its eyes facing sideways?" Like they were looking at me coming down the stairs. And then when I went and sat next to it, they were looking straight ahead, but still at me. Oh my gosh! I've, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen a move. What's his name? Our oh, local. Oh yeah, um, Glenn Pitcher from ninety-eight won the hawk. They had uh, pictures of him, oh, or of the doll, I mean. Of the doll with the eyes moving. moving. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, hey, me, and, me and Harmony are ready for the show. Right? <laughs> That's hey, me for for another <laughs> level to this, a lot of people are picking up on, on Native Americans. Um, and, you know, I think we had touched on that at the beginning, but I believe there is something. I, I forget the name of the tribe. I think it might have been the Cayuga. David. There was supposed to be there was supposed to be something where where they were supposed to be given the land back and then it was taken away. It was like some oh, shady right. taking right. the land away from them. So that could explain a lot of the stuff too, where the uh, double yeah, cross a curse, but a curse right. on the land itself oh. that yeah. that could be another aspect of why there's so much crazy stuff happening. Okay. David, the K2 is going off when you talk about that. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, did I get the name of that tribe right? Um, what was it? K K Cayuga? Cayuga? Is that our tribe? Oh, look. Cayuga. Cayuga Nation, yeah. Cayuga yeah. Nation. Okay, Courtney, if you uh, are uh, have the ability to gather your stuff, we'll head down to the basement. Okay. And while you check in on that... Uh, let's check in on Richard Lell and see how <laughs> the meeting's going. Richard Lell, how's it progressing? It's going very well. Um, I invited a couple of different... I was going to do the spirit call on, but I've got the little boy here, and then there's a woman and a little little child over in the doorway. What happened to your internet now? Your image is degraded. It's very pixelated. Well, we all... the storm has moved to Long Island now, so... Oh, so it's a it was, it was I, I, I saw the lightning the outside. Right. That's what they said. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should reconnect to see if we can get a better uh, better feed, Richard Lell. Well, maybe let me see what I do. Um, okay. So you can I guess say I, that. Yeah, just do that. Uh, Bill Marnie, uh, what uh, yeah. you seem to be discussing something that you realize amongst yourselves. What is that? Well, we were discussing when he was talking about the um, the tribe that was here, um, what nation. Um, we had the Mohawk mediums here just a week ago. Oh, right. And Aaron, it, he had discussed that we are like, what do you call it? Six nations. There's a natural border with this river. Right. right. So six different nations. Of, and they were feuding with each other. He was telling us this before you guys. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's right, right. Piping, he's piping in now. He's he's mo he's relation his relation is Mohawk, right? <laughs> Aaron's is. And did I read historically that they sort of uh, formed some sort of tribal uh, alliance to stop the uh, inter uh, tribal warfare uh, in that area? So they uh, cooperation agreement, technically. Yes, that's 
that's what we just learned. Uh, yeah, I believe right, that's right. what Aaron said. Actually, the, he, he called it the Six Nations. The Six there, Nations. There's Seneca, uh, Onondaga, uh, Onita, Mohawk. Um, there was another long one. Okay. And the cut. The, is it uh, how how, yeah, how did? Uh, and I'm sorry for butchering this. The, the how not how not I, I um, yeah, it was something very long. I don't. I never even heard of them before. Right. Yeah. Okay. It's somewhere. Fantastic, Richard Lell. Did you re secure your connection? I think so. Is it better? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's a little better. Well, it's, a little better. Uh, Better than not better. <laughs> yes, that's right. Uh, tell us about what you're painting now. So I decided that I would keep the spirits, the specters, a little bit more mysterious. I have, um, I have the, the young man, the, the young boy here in the forefront. Yeah. And then over here on the porch, there's a woman and another young child. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. That is mysterious. You Normally you uh, get them a little more defined. I must say they're very ethereal. <laughs> Yeah, I, I when I saw the the boy in my dream, he was just blue. There was everything was blue. His skin was blue. His hair, everything was blue. He was blue, like wow. he was either really cold or really dead. Well, okay, fantastic. Well, continue working. Oh, it seems Courtney has arrived in the basement. Mm -hmm. Courtney, tell us about your surroundings. Uh, we can't hear you audio. Your audio is out. Are you on mute? I muted it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so it's dark, except for the light that I left on right there. Yeah. There's a. I don't know if you can, hold on. There's a scary Halloween thing over here. A scary <laughs> Halloween <laughs> thing. Yeah, that scares. This is the fourth time it scared me. I think. <laughs> Third time what it scared is it? me. A, like a I'm skeleton. I'm not going near it because it's going to touch me. What is it? <laughs> I'll go a little near it. It looks like a nun. There's a nun in the basement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what that can be that? like the None name of, of your horror movie. And then look at this thing. Then there, this is a whole pile. There's a clown. This what? is a, this is the corner of my nightmares. That's what this is. What I put the light on it. I only seen a bit of blue shape. I'm not seeing. I, a I don't know where the. I'm putting the light on it. Look at that. That. We can't see anything. I see a little blue. It looks like. Okay, uh, you guys are doing this on purpose. I know, no, really. <laughs> You're just right. making me go in here. <laughs> Hello. Okay. So, is this Marty, a hiding place for people? It. This is where you store your Halloween stuff. <laughs> oh, no creepier place. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Do you see it now? Yeah, that's a nut. That's and then look nut. at this thing. What is that thing? I don't know. <laughs> that's, the, that's the flying grim reaper. Oh, flying okay, grim reaper. So the grim reaper. There he is. <laughs> and then the clown. Is it the clown? That's in profile. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Everything. I. This is too much over here. It's there's a lot happening. That's so okay. funny. But every time I come down these stairs, so far I've the, I've seen the nun, and I've scared the. You know what happened? <laughs> right. Is there meter kicking off on that? Okay. So far, no. I mean, so, I'll go back. So this would have been the ice house, right. and possibly a place where bodies were stored. And right. uh, I believe there's some uh, some reason to think it was part of the Underground Railroad. Uh, that's right, Bill. You pointed out earlier that these. Uh, uh, the entire basement was subdivided into smaller rooms with doors uh, that led you to suspect that it was a hiding place? Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's all types of little rooms that were down there, so you know, I mean, they could have snuck them in through multiple doors through the basement into a back room, as, yeah, like that. You mm -hmm. can see all those different doorways in that picture where all the rooms were and, you know, who and, and if, like, to the right of that um, last piece of OSB there that you saw is the door that goes right to the river, right directly to the river. All right. So it went from basically the foundation in a straight line to the river as a way to uh, right. carry on on the railway on the. Oh, right. The whole this time. 
The whole time we're talking about the Underground Railroad, this is going off. On red. Now, oh, wow. Now, you wow. know, who, who kind of uh, turned me on to the Underground Railroad thing was when I told Aaron uh, the story and I told him about the knocks on the floor uh, that woke us up there. And he said that was a total indication of uh, the Underground Railroad. Oh, look at that. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, what questions would we ask David L. Sloan of anyone? What? Who? I mean. Uh, well, I think it's interesting because uh, early on, somebody picked up on chains. Uh, oh, right. and this is like an hour ago, and I forget where it was, but in the comment section, somebody had picked up on chains. Hearing chains. Um, you know, I, I think. I think there would, I don't know, it, it would be very emotionally charged in there. Yeah. And I, and I, and I think what we'd really want to do is just try to give good energy to whoever's there and try to let them go. Interesting. I mean, I, I mean, if, if there's anybody down there attached to that, I, I, don't, think, I think we want I them. Think we should Stop. sing. Listen. What? Oh. There was tapping. I'm hearing. Richard Lyle, can you give some instruction on moving any spirits down there onward? Yes. I mean, I think there's plenty in the house, uh, and the house will suffer by having a few I, move on. I think I was trying to remember this the song. Um, there, there, there's a there's a spiritual that they would sing about doing water, and it was. Um, it, 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 in, in the Underground Railroad, they would they would sing to each other, and it would actually be instructions. And I, I can't, for the life oh. of me, remember now that song. And I was just going to Google really quickly. I'm hearing some sort of breathing through my speakers. Is it, is it a Wade in the Waters song? Um, or maybe. Yeah, Wade in the Water is what's coming through. Uh, Aaron and Tabitha said Wade in the Water's children. Let me see. Okay. Actually, I'm going to just play that really quickly. I've done that before. <laughs> yes. Uh, so it's Wade in the Water. And Just a second, and I will have it pulled up. Okay. And then technically this was an instructional uh, guide for the Underground Railroad as done as a spiritual. Yes. Here we go. I've never heard that before. And if Corey, I tell them, tell them to go to the light that they can go. Tell them they're free to go. Just to look for the light and go to it. Before I do that, I need you guys to know that they led me over here by my elbow. What? I was I was leaning against a wall in that corner. It was freezing. 
And as soon as the music started, someone gently took my elbow and pulled me over here. Wow. Yeah. I'm yeah. I'm curious. Um, is this Marnie? Um, is this near where that water pipe was that was leaking, Marnie or Bill? I we're, we're trying, trying to, see to see where she is. I'm right. I'm at the foot of. The, I'm like in the middle, like at the. Foot oh, of right the behind. Where? Yeah, right behind you, is where the water pipe was leaking. Directly above you? No, behind her. Direct the the other way towards the stairs. Towards the stairs. So do yeah. a one eighty. Yeah, and then yeah. point right, directly yeah. right to the right the of the dream. stairs. Right. To the right of the stairs. This is what it looked like in the dream. It's very close to here. Yep, right there by the chimney is exactly where it was leaking. So point up so to those. This is where. Up. So, so okay. So I was standing. So right next to the chimney is where it was leaking. Okay, I was leaning on the chimney. Okay, and you were led around the, the middle, stairs. just out to the middle, right? So the chimney's and still behind me this way, but it was like then it was like swaying, like we were doing this, but like someone was leading me away from that, right? Maybe and the actual uh, doorway to the river is behind the stairs around the other side, right? Correct. So that's where you lead you to the water. And technically you would wait out. How deep is that river? Is it walkable to the island? Could you actually just wade through and get to yes. the island? You can during the summer for sure. Yeah. So theoretically you go to the far side of the island to find um, your travel to continue. Right. Because that's the main channel. So, yeah. And uh, Aaron commented that uh, dogs couldn't smell you in the water. Right, that oh, stops wow. the down trail. That just gave me chills so mm -hmm. hard. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think, Mark oh, and Bill, the reason that they were so quiet for so long is because they had to be. Interesting. That makes sense. Right, yeah. and only now that all of us are down here investigating that they're making. Them, their presence known. Now it's um, safe. Now it's safe. It's safe. You are free. You can go. You are free. You are free to go. Oh. Message for Marnie if she wants to hear it. Yeah. I want to hear it. <laughs> What's the message? I don't know. It just. Hey, yeah, Haley. 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 Haley, yeah. Castellano has a message from Marty if she wants to hear it. Yeah, Haley Castellano, Marty wants to hear I it. Heard... What? I hear walking. I heard like a whistle. Somebody mentioned whistling earlier. Yeah. There's a I'm hearing that coming. too. Is she talking to me? Yeah, there's a person behind you, Marty, a female. In that, I mean, so smart with that. she loves the garden. She loves you. She will always be with you. She loves the garden. Your sister. Who's Her your sister? sister? Marnie, did you have a sister? I did, and she's. She's the reason I started planting gardens. She died of breast cancer. And How long she ago? came um, 13 years. Just well, I had just moved into this house. Oh. And she came here and said I needed to plant a garden. There were no gardens. There was nothing out there. And so she helped me plant my very first garden. And I just continue to plant them for her wow this is like wildly emotional down here in the basement yeah it's emotional across the entire country i would think this is this is just wow and your meter still going off courtney like a heartbeat again uh. what were her favorite flowers some people mentioned some different flowers earlier the smell of flowers. 
she really loved lilies. Um, yeah, I think lilies were mentioned in the comment section earlier. That was her favorite. Wow. Oh, wow. wow. This is heavy. Well, I, and also sweet. I mean, it's um, this is why we do the show. We have many of our uh, uh, followers who are also uh, connected, empaths, that sort of thing. So we are all brought together. Uh, even though the title of the show is Scared Alone, sometimes we're more connected than we actually know. So, that was deep, Dean. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now we're uh, emotional and alone. <laughs> we're emotional and connected, Courtney. We are oh, connected sorry. no matter where we are. This is That's the whole. Beautiful. So I'm in a know. basement. So, and we're here with you in a basement. You, have... you think you can sleep in the basement tonight? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> it might be safer than your room. <laughs> your yeah, room honestly, you're me. probably right because I feel like they like me down here. <laughs> right, and it actually feels like a transition happened in more ways it does it feels good down here now yeah oh look at that that's lovely so with all that good energy we were talking about sending in here like i feel it radiating out of me now right everybody's free to go in from the basement go ahead it sounded like I heard something run up the stairs. Really? Yeah. So they are going to spend the night with you. Hmm. Right. <laughs> yeah, and that's okay. In the dream, in the dream it was, there was so much representation, uh, even Courtney's son coming in and hugging her. It was just, the, the thing is that it was very family. There, there were some things that had happened, but most of it was really, it, it's been a whole, it was a place where people stopped. It was, it was a place where people relaxed. It, it, it was, it was beautiful then, and it is beautiful now. Right. So look at all that. Saying goodbye, cleansing the basement. Well done, Courtney. Well done, everyone. Wow. <laughs> right. Well, why Richard, do we? Well, do you think that we could do a breathing down here? We sure can. Do you want to do it down there? Yeah. Let's do one down here, and this one is, this one, we'll do another one maybe at the end, but this one is just for us here in the basement, and I want for any any energy that is trapped, any spirit, any, any being that feels like they have had too much darkness, it is time to dance in the light, and with these three breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, we send nothing but love your way, and we send you on to that light, children. We send you on, and first we breathe into the nose and out through the mouth. Oh. Into the nose, out through the mouth. Oh. Into the nose one last time, and out through the mouth. Oh. And you go, and you are free. Now you have it. There you have they, it. They're free to stay too. You're free to stay. <laughs> you're free to stay, but you're also free to go. Wow, fantastic. Well, why don't we uh, end up where we look, look at, at that. that? It just dwindled down. And I haven't moved. Wow. Last you're welcome. Time, you're welcome. Why don't we head back to the parlor where we all started and uh, uh, wrap up? Uh, our entire experience for these last two hours with Scared and Alone. And check in with Richard Lell's painting one last time to see. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm pretty well done. I'm just going to sign it, I think. So oh, fantastic. You can, you can, you can see the, the beautiful day and the, <laughs> yeah. the fruits out here. Yeah. Uh, and the storm is still affecting your internet. It's a little pixelated. But um, Hmm. Well, I'll take a good picture of it. It'll be up on Instagram. As always, I always offered it to the owner of the establishment, the homes first, and then to the general public. So that is After where that. You... And what's your Instagram again? It's the... uh, my name, Richard Leo Lillard, or it'll come up as the gentleman mm -hmm. psychic. Fantastic. And your mm -hmm. Facebook 
in case anybody wants to DM or you just Richard do Richard Leo Lillard or the gentleman side. <laughs> uh, I've seen the theme here. And what's your Twitter handle, perhaps? <laughs> Richard Leo Lillard or the gentleman side. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, thank you so much. And uh, Marnie and Bill, I don't know if you've seen other episodes of this, but every one of the uh, works is offered to the owners first. So uh, if you get a, a better gander at it that's not so pixelated, you will have first dibs on uh, this painting. So that'll be fantastic. Courtney, are we back in the parlor? We are with all my doll and clown friends in here. <laughs> Yay. All your doll, uh, have any of them moved? No. And on the way down, that other doll had not moved yet. And I'm just going to ride the high of like that good feeling from downstairs. Because right. later, I'm going to have a little break, have something to eat, have a little snack recharge, and then I'm going to go live on my Instagram. So um, we can watch so, you snore for two hours? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll be awake <laughs> this time. Um, okay. Lesson learned. Um, but yeah, so I am I have a feeling that things are going to get spicy upstairs, it feels like. But Fantastic. down here feels good right now. And what's your Instagram I am at the themes, T H E F E E M S. The themes. Yep, the short theme. for femur. Oh, I get it. Because I collect ethically sourced human remains. <laughs> Excellent. Well, yep. for those of us who uh, have not had enough of this, uh, please <laughs> carry on over to the themes. And you're going to be uh, streaming the night through, or are you going to just cut it off? I don't think I'm going to do the night through because that was really embarrassing, and I still haven't let myself live it down because there was actually there was people on it listening to me snore. Um, They're watching over like, you. I would think that's what? sweet. No, no, screen <laughs> recording so that they can post it online later. I'm sure. No, I'm just kidding. Um, you're giving them ideas. No, that was, the most humiliating thing to wake up to was 70 full minutes of just buzzsaw. It was embarrassing. <laughs> so I will not be doing that again. I will stay on as long as anyone's on or we're getting stuff. Like we got stuff last time. I was on until like 3, 3 a.m. before I started, went to sleep yeah. and started snoring. Um, so, yeah, after a short little break, I'll hop on there. And if anyone wants to hang out, we can hang out as long as they want. Fantastic. Look forward to that. Uh um, I want to say, too, when you go to bed tonight, Courtney, remember in the dream it said the clothes activate it, the clothes send it back. Before you go to bed, say good night to the clothing. Oh, good. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Her clothing or the clothing? The, no, the, the bloody clothing, clothing in the floorboard. The bloody the floorboard. floorboard. The clothing. Right. So I so can't believe how – can we just take a moment and, like, give Richard Lail credit where credit is due here with how – how dead on that dream like it's mind-blowing how yep. dead on that dream was i know like scary it's it, well, <laughs> he is the gentleman psychic I, so. proved it proves it every episode but yeah it that really was does. a lot thank you so much richard l david l sloan down in key west i thank you again for all your research and uh coming to us after i mean how many uh episode break has it been since we've seen you uh we missed you and perhaps it's because I was making fun of Captain Bumfardo. <laughs> it's really great to be back. And uh, I mean, what what an incredible episode. Richard Lale with everything he picked up on, incredible. Mm -hmm. And of course, Courtney, so brave doing all that. And and, and I I mean, everybody, the way everything came together. It's, what about me? Well, it, 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 you know, <laughs> as soon as you got rid of their bobber doll, I loved how clearly <laughs> coming through you're I, I tell you you're the doll whisperer which is amazing <laughs> but i think it's so great the, the way everybody everybody in the in the comment section uh everybody every, everybody here it blended together so well mm -hmm. and it's this interconnectedness that we all have right and i think what we tapped into at the end with the spirit world i mean that, that's that's why i love doing this so thank you right. all for that right. and, and, and yes. Bill and for opening their place to us. Is, is yes. Marnie, Bill, thank you so much uh, for letting us uh, do this. And, uh, <clears throat> we appreciate it so much. And if anybody is in upstate New York, how do they find you? What's the uh, website or the Facebook? It's Fading Goat Island Inn. FadingGoatIslandInn.com? Yep. And we can yep. book a room 
24 hours a day, 765? <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty, yeah, pretty Preferably much. not 24 hours a day. <laughs> okay. But thank you guys. I mean, yeah, this was awesome. So impressive. Thank I'm you. I'm really, so much. I'm at a loss for words. This was, yeah. Was Excellent. Well, I look forward to coming and visiting you in person, actually. Uh, it's not that far from where I'm living in, in Michigan. And uh, uh, I have relatives in Wellsville and Orlean, which is not that far away. So no. uh, it, uh, it's on my list. And hope to Dean, see if you. if I can hop right. in for a second. Look forward. Yes, Courtney. I just want to say, I know I haven't spent the night yet, but from the minute I walked in here, it's been an amazing experience. As I, you know, I talked about the goats earlier. I love the goats. Um, but like the bed is so comfortable upstairs. I, I, I laid down in it for two minutes. I almost fell asleep, started snoring then. Um, it's yeah, I'm a little frightened because we've been doing what we've been doing. But whether you're here for the ghost or not, like I can't, I'm so excited to spend the night here. And I think it's great. And everybody should come and take, take, take a, a night or two or seven. And, and also a uh, comment uh, about Marnie's uh, cinnamon rolls that are out in the morning. They're apparently heard it. <laughs> it, so, they're this big. Yes, right? Large <laughs> giant cinnamon buns. I'm very excited <laughs> about that. Awesome. And finally, <laughs> Haley, Michelle. I thought you, you forgot about me, but it's all right. Not at all. No, no, no. <laughs> any with you because of your hilarious <laughs> laugh. I mean, we've done so I many just, I want to say, if you feel like you have abs in the morning, you're welcome. Because... <laughs> Right, laughter is a good ab workout. That's very. I cool. felt so connected with everything. Like I almost felt like, I don't know if it was a little boy messing with me to get me to laugh, or just I don't know. I just felt drawn and hearing voices that I felt like not everyone else was hearing through here was pretty crazy. So I I love this. It was like very interactive for me. Fantastic, and we appreciate all that you do and all your dolls. Harmony was not terrifying at all this, this this episode. I had to get rid of the other doll. I'm glad yeah. that you didn't bring the other one on. You know which one. She's watching no. me right here. Good. <laughs> Keep her over there because I don't want to. <laughs> That's fantastic. And we appreciate the bunny ears to remind us. <laughs> I can't you guys a happy are. Easter. Yes. Happy Easter. Wishing everyone a happy Easter, a lovely holiday. Until we see you next time, I've been Dean Hanglin. This has been Scared and Alone. You can watch us wherever you stream your fine, live, interactive, paranormal shows, which I think there's only a few places. So till next time, thank you, everybody, and have a great evening. See you next time. Thank you. <laughs>
listen, I can see it on this, but it's not really doing it in person. What I'm imagining that, I'm also hearing some sort of voice. At night, when they open back up in the morning, that dial was in a different part of the store. Go red. Oh, Go red. no. It's, oh, geez, there's the car moving around. Why is it moving by itself? People are smelling embalming fluid. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's saying you're not safe. Yeah. David, how do you feel? Are you okay? No, no, I, I'm not okay. I, I mean, I'm, I'm really concerned. This is weird. People are picking up on a tunnel all below there. Here's here's the wild a tunnel. Thing. There's Salem is moving for its tunnels. I can ask, hear it. Ask them if they're ready to go to war. Oh, wow. Somebody's getting, where are all my things? It goes off. Things are not mine. My house. They said there's something going on with a clown. People are still seeing stuff with the eyes on the clown. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this the motion control doll? Like, are you the female again, prisoner? Like... I saw someone run from that area. <gasps> oh my gosh, why did you do that? Courtney, you need to be warned. Um, somebody says that they see that someone following you around there and touching you on the shoulder. Where I've heard what I've heard what she's hearing, and it's it catches you and it's it's a little bit it's scary it's scary